In this video, I will show you guys how to go from noob to pro on keyboard and mouse in one week. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. First, let's start off with the settings. Turn on auto open doors and for mental activation, set it to hold jump, auto sort consumables to the right and turn on all the building settings. Then copy down these sensitivity settings and combine it with 800 dpi. And now let's move on to the easiest keybinds to master. Upper mouse button for wall, Q for base, lower mouse button for ramps, E for code, C to crouch, B to run, F to edit, scroll wheel down to reset, T for traps, and finally mouse wheel down to interact. To start things off, build a wall and start editing it. And then move on to learning these retakes in order. Again, Fortnite is all about adapting to the delay and the best way to adapt to that delay is by practicing and getting that muscle memory down. Follow this routine for one week and you will see amazing results. The keybinds I have given you guys are very easy to master and please do not change sensitivities because that's gonna affect your aim and adapting to low sensitivity is definitely the best way to get good at the game so I recommend sticking to this sensitivity at least until you get to a certain point. Also another bonus tip is to position your keyboard in a 45 degree angle and for your mouse I recommend gripping it either palm, claw or fingertip grip depending on whatever that is most comfortable for you. Personally for me I like playing claw grip because I find it to be very easy and comfortable to play. Also make sure you have a mouse pad that has smooth glide and has enough room for you to glide your mouse freely on it so that way your aim would be as optimal as possible. A very easy box fighting tactic is to pickaxe a wall and immediately replace the wall and place a cone inside the pole box which will trap the opponent and ultimately guarantee a free kill. And after you have some sort of practice you want to come to this map because this map has realistic bots that don't shoot back so it's undoubtedly one of the best ways to actually get good at the game. And once you got some practice from that map you want to come to this one and go into edit and shoot. You want to start off with right hand peaks and then you want to move on to left hand and right hand peaks. Now at this point you want to enter this map and work on your aim with various different guns that you are going to use in public matches. I will also leave a bonus code in the pinned comment which is going to be a 1v1 duel map and trust me when I say this 1v1 duels help out a lot especially in terms of close range gunplay so I highly recommend practicing on that map. Additionally if you are on PC you can install this application by the name of Aim Labs on Steam which is an alternative application which will help you get better aim so I'll leave links in the description down below for those of you guys who are interested in checking it out. And right after this, you want to move into 1v1 box fights, and then to 1v1s, and finally to zone wars. And once you're confident enough, do not hop into ranked, instead hop into a normal game, and play a few normal games until you get the hang of it. And finally, move into ranked. As far as mantling and sprinting go, it's completely about learning when and where to mantle. I personally use thumb to hit B to sprint, and C to crouch or glide, and it's definitely one of the most easiest and convenient binds ever. From here, start learning advanced retakes, which I will cover in an upcoming video. And by any means, do not quit or go back to your previous input, because if you do that, you will never be able to get good on keyboard and mouse. And keyboard and mouse is really easy after you learn how to play, so good luck on that. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, consider dropping a like button. And hit that red subscribe button if you wanna stay tuned. It's been Velo, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, peace out.